Welcome, in front of me is a OnePlus Nord 3 and today I'll show you how you can hard reset this device uh, through recovery mode and also get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you don't know. So before I actually get started with the process, I'm just going to quickly mention one important thing. Uh, when doing this, uh, in order to well, remove your screen lock, uh, most of the time your device will also become FRP locked. And what that means is that once you're done resetting your device, you will need to confirm your Google account that was signed in on the device. As you can see, I have one. And obviously, if you don't know either your Google account nor the screen lock, your device will kind of become unusable after the reset. Because when you're going to the setup, you'll need to verify one of those two. Now, luckily, I do have a method on bypassing this if anyone is interested and needs this. So I'll be recording that after I do the reset that will basically lock the device so anyway let's get started i'm going to quickly lock the device and progress from the lock screen as though i don't know my pattern so we just need to hold our power button and volume up and then select swipe to power off once the device turns off you want to hold your power button and volume down at the same time When you see the OnePlus logo, let go of the power button, keep holding volume down. From here, select your desired language and then select format data. As you can see, it provides us with some kind of verification code right here. So for me, right now it's 2257. It's randomly generated, so all you need to do is just put it in the keypad just to confirm that you want to factory reset your device. Now, just to prove this, uh, if I go back and select it again, as you can see, it's now different, 3529 or 91. Once you confirm it, it gives you this pop-up, format data, all user data will be reset. I'm going to select format. This will begin formatting it and only takes a couple seconds right here, at which point we're just going to select OK, and this will automatically reboot the device and continue the process in the background. Now, because it is continuing process in the background, it will take it a little bit longer to... Uh, to finish up or to boot back up more precisely so just give it some time once it's finished we'll be presented with android setup screen so i'll be back once that is visible for me and as you can see the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching